Hello, my name is Dmitro Kucheruk and I represent a 4 ga uh, company. We are state-owned, Polish-based manufacturer of wired, solar and uh, portable lighting systems. Here I would like to make a review of our most advanced mobile airfield lighting trailer. The trailer is the combination of the uh, platform and uh, the body. The platform is based on two axes for increased stability and the body is made of a stainless steel as the ma main material for the walls and aluminium doors that are protecting equipment inside of the trailer. Uh, obviously doors are lockable, each door is lockable individually and you can very easily open them. What you see inside of the trailer are 72 mobile runway lights placed in the special holders, locked, so those locks prevents lights from moving during transportation. Also, here you can see mobile puppy system that is also firmly fixed and they will not move during transportation. The lights are placed in a special holders. In order to remove the light from the trailer, you need to unlock it and remove it. The lock also is equipped with a special magnetic connector that provides power to the light. So while light is being installed in, the, in this holder, it's also being charged, as long as, of course, trailer is connected to the power grid. As for GA mobile lights are remotely activated. We use a radio control to achieve this, and we use this device that is called UR101 to control the lights. It allows us to change intensity uh, on three steps, minimum, medium and maximum, and we also can control lights in five different groups. Now I'm going to show you how to activate, change intensity and deactivate the lights. Minimum intensity is activated. As you can see, the signal instantly reaches the lights. Now I'm going to switch off maximum and deactivate the lights. S4GA Mobile Puppy is absolutely unique solution for all those customers that require quickly deployable puppy system. It consists of a puppy light integrated into the special crate that is made of stainless steel, control box, 20 meters of cable and antenna. Controller provides puppy with 6.6 .6 amp, but the puppy itself is uh, powered with regular 230 volt grid that uh, we can use this socket to con connect the puppy to either S4GA power bank or mobile power generator. Puppy is also controlled wirelessly using S4GA uh, controller. S4GA mobile trailer allows us to move lights from point A to point B and this trailer is fully certified for road transportation on public roads. For this reason, uh, it is equipped with a, a handbrake and also spare wheel. What else do we see here is the switchboard. Uh, it's a power distribution um, box, rotatable and extendable floodlight, and two power port that allows us to control uh, trailer to power uh, supply via either 230 volts AC or mobile generator. This is a switchboard, uh, it's a panel and a control center for the power distribution going into the trailer and also used to charge lights. When we open it, we get an access to the panel that we use to control uh, charging of the lights and also control external and internal lighting of the trailer. Here we have uh, four circuits that are responsible for charging lights. This is how we activate the charging of all the circuits. Here we can see immediate power consumption by the charging system. Uh, this is an indicator of an internal battery of the trailer. Uh, those two red indicators show us whether the uh, trailer is connected to the 230 volts power source or to the generators. Now those uh, switches here are responsible for control of external and internal lighting and this panel is basically a panel of the circuit breakers. 
If we want to deactivate charging, we simply switch off those uh, switches and the charging will stop. If we need to, for example, uh, recharge our phone or connect a laptop of, or other device that requires 230 volts, we can simply use this socket here. Here we can see uh, also a controller of the mobile floodlight uh, that I will cover later in this video. S4GA trailer is equipped with very useful extendable floodlight mast. This allows airport personnel to unload and load airplane safely. So during the dark part of the day uh, they can illuminate the whole area required uh, to operate airplane on the ground. How do we um, extend the mass? It's very simple. We have a mobile controller here. Uh, we activate it. We press just one button and the mass is extracted. Now I'm going to rotate it and focus lights on myself to show you how easily it can be manipulated. So this way I can rotate the mass by pressing the button and I'm going to now focus the lights on, on me. There are two lights so I'm going to activate them one by one. Light number one, light number two. As you can see the amount of light provided by this uh, flat light is enough to cover entire area of the airplane. How do we retract the mast? Very simple. We just press and hold the button here for one second and the mask will automatically uh, retract itself and also the lights will deactivate themselves in uh, one second. So the trailer also equipped with uh, two types of illumination. One is are the two floodlights that allows us to work with the equipment during the dark time of the day. And the second type of illumination is an uh, internal that also helps airport personnel to deploy and collect the lights during the dark time of the day. In the back of the S4GA trailer, we have designed a special storage place that can be used to transport S4GA uh, light uh, controller special trailer tools. Uh, here is a place for cable required to connect trailer to the power grid. And at the end, here you have two de dedicated spots that a customer can use to fix and to transport two mobile power generators.